What's up YouTube? I'm going to be showing you what's on my jailbroken iPhone 4S and to start off you'll see this really different lock screen and at first, let me show you um, this layout of the clock is called Typo Phone 4 and it pretty much just makes the clock gone, it's an option and it just has the the date like that and also as I have another tweak installed that takes away the slider and allows me to just move anywhere to unlock I'll show you again you just slide from any direction and it unlocks okay now there's a lot of things going on on my home screen first you probably notice that um, their icons are bouncing on the bottom and this is a tweak called icon bounce and found in Cydia just like the other two I named before. Also, you notice how everything's different. This is a, a theme that I installed with Winterboard, downloaded from Cydia. This theme is called uh, iFlat 3. That changes the background. Um, you also notice the widget down here. It displays the weather for my area. This is from iFlat 2. Here, I'll show you my Winterboard, what I have checked off. Select theme. Okay, you'll see Typophone 4, that's uh, what I installed as my lock screen. And here's iFlat 3, it's an iOS 5 um, theme, the icon set. And now here is where I have checked off the iFlat 2 weather. Now it also has the option for, let's uncheck that, it also has the I, iFlat 3 widget, which I'll show you right now. Now I've removed the iFlat 2, so the weather widget is going to be gone. It's going to have another widget that you can download. Very spring. Okay, now this is the lock screen, how it looks like that. Just go through that weird flash for a quick second. Sorry about that. Okay. Um, now you'll notice the top is... You can't really see the widget on top. So now this is where the next, next leak I'm going to talk about comes into use, which is called grid lock, one word. You can pretty much move the icons anywhere you want. So let's just move all these down. Okay, now that's how I would have it. You see how it's a lot easier to maneuver. Let's put them back up for now. Okay, next thing you'll notice is the different instead of saying sprint which is my normal carrier it says supreme now that's a tweet called zeppelin and let me show you what it comes with zeppelin here we go All right now it's enabled and it comes with a few Let's see batman now i made a few uh, my own right, let's go back Okay, next, you'll notice that when I flip through pages, it's a box figure. Now, this tweak is called Barrel. I'll show you a few. It comes with a few. That was Cube. Now, this is also another one I like. Back to the home. Now, this one, you curl it. It's called Curl and Roll Away. Pretty much the name describes what it does. Curl and Roll Away. Put that back to cube. Okay, now you also notice how my icons are birds with grenades, and now that sorry, that is a theme called masks, where you can transform the the icons into any anything that it came with. Collection of a few. Say I want to do jigsaw. Let's go back home screen and in a few seconds it'll change to jigsaw now this other bird one I made myself oh sorry I made myself that's on top bird okay next um, is a tweak for when I get receive a text message and that is called color banner um, right now I can't time a text so you can't really tell but what it pretty much does is that instead of the regular color that's on top that comes down to here, you see a little text message. I can choose any color I want, so let's just just show you it's enabled. 
um, select theme. I have a blue background and the text is white. Um, and that is that one. You go back. The next one is called a custom Siri background, and you can pretty much make it any image that you have saved. Let me show you custom Siri background. You could just click that, pick the image in your. And what I have is just. You probably won't be able to tell the difference at first, but if you see there's like some stars in the background, that's just a simple. Okay. Um, next, I have something called flotation which instead of normally pulling down the, the notifications, how it just goes on itself, you're actually pulling down your screen instead to view notifications. See the difference? It's a lot, I like it's a lot better, it's a lot smoother. Um, check, definitely check that out, the flotation. Now, here's a few notifications tweaks. Now, if you see um, the first one is um, Okay, now the next tweak is called flotation. Instead of you regularly pull down your notifications, how you're actually pulling that down, you're actually pulling down your home screen or whatever app you're in to reveal the notifications. I think it's a lot cooler looking. And now what I'm going to next is these notification settings. Um, you'll see something different. You'll see the name cat that's uh, moving. And this is also, here I'll show you in the notifications. These are under in um, Insidia. They're under themes. You just go into notifications and see that they're under themes, notifications. And now here's one that I have down, uh, downloaded is Omni Stat Widget. And you'll see that's the top, how it just says information. From here you can enable airplane mode, disable Wi Fi, enable loop, disable location. They also have the option to kill all background apps, restart Spring Room, reboot, shut down, and information donating and Facebook. Um, I've moved down. The other one I have downloaded is Nancat Widget, which is the one that was moving before. And also, you'll see here Wii Lyrics. Now, let me go into the music app. And now, let me pick a song. Okay, it already has uh, here a song No Sleep. And now it just went, and it has the lyrics. This is all. That's really cool. Um, next, I'm going to be showing you different tweaks with involving Siri. So first is something called hands-free control, where you just need to say Siri or any, any name you choose. And what I chose was Jarvis. Now see, it just popped up. You can ask any question after that. Um, it's a lot easier than holding down the home button. You just say the name. You can settings back to let's see hands-free control. Now you'll see. The name, Siri, computer, Hal, Jarvis, phone, or you can have a custom, just type in like that. And the next Siri tweak is called Siri Utils, which you can turn off Bluetooth, change brightness, things like that, turn off Wi-Fi. Let's I'm just show you. Change brightness to 75%. As you wish. Now I made the screen brighter. Next is called Assistant Extensions, which what I use for is YouTube. It also has another feature called Let's Chat, which I don't really like that much. You just tell Let's Chat and it should talk back. But what I use it for is something like this. Search YouTube for birds. Now you see it has all the YouTube searches. You just need to click anything. It'll bring it to the YouTube app. Play the video. Okay. Next is something called Voice Utils, and this is to launch an app, reboot the phone, power it off. So let's say I want to launch um, a launch calendar. Launch calendar. And it brings up the calendar app. Next are just a variety of apps and tweaks I use. Um, one thing is face break which allows me to use FaceTime in 3G this is really helpful um, it pretty much just tricks your phone into thinking that it's on the Wi-Fi when you're FaceTiming it's I use it a lot it's something you should definitely download next is infinity folders I don't really have that many things downloaded but pretty much you can have as many things into a folder as you want you just scroll through it when it goes through the limit um, next is 
Instalus, and this is how I um, get those free apps, those free paid apps for the, from the regular app store. Just go through browse or search for an app. Um, next is something called Ziffer, Zephyr, and what that does is that can just be in anything, and it pretty much just moves through my um, my multitasking down here, but just by using two fingers and sliding through. Now, if you to change it, it can be one finger, two fingers, three or four. To change that, you just go down to here, enable it. I have it two fingers. You can put up to four. Um, and to close an app, you swipe up from the bottom to close the app. So if I swipe up with both, it's closed. Um, next I is ProTube. Let me go into that. This again is downloaded from Cydia, and what this does is that I can just search through any for any YouTube video and download it as an MP3, and it'll save it here. Here I have a few saved. You just click it. Um, you just click it to play it. I won't right now. That's really useful. Next is something called Spring Flash, and that's so you can activate the LED flash in the back to use as a flashlight. You just go into Activator and pick what you want to do. What I chose is that you double tap the sleep button. So and there you go, and now it just stays on. And same thing, just double tap to shut off. And lastly, that what I have is something called Hide Them All, and this is another Activator kind of thing, and it removes um, it removes all your messages, your emails, and photos. It's supposed to remove photos, but for some reason it doesn't work for me. Um, I made it so you have to double click both these at the same time, and now click both. It makes a little vibration noise. I'll go into email, and you'll see it's gone. Um, I pretty much have this because I don't have a password on the front. I find I'd rather just swipe easily, and now people can't see everything. And now when I want to um, put it back, all I need to do is click both again and type in the password. And I won't do that now, but it's very useful. Okay, that's it for this video. This is what was on my jailbroken iPhone 4S. I will be making more videos every single week, so make sure to subscribe, like this video, comment it, um, and thanks for watching.